Hello, I'm Kelly from Pushchair Expert. A consideration for parents is whether a pushchair will grow their family and be suitable for use with future children too. The Eye Candy Orange is a great single pushchair, but it's future proof too, with the option to double up or even turn it into a twin. Eye Candy knows what works for their families, so the orange is now in its third generation and just gets better and better. Like its smaller brother, the Peach 7, which is now on its seventh version, you can trust the brand to constantly make improvements to the functions and usability, as well as the style. As the orange is the most versatile from the Eye Candy range, it has a slightly larger chassis to cater to the 30 possible configurations it offers. Whether you need one carry cot or seat, a seat and a carry cot, or two seats, or two carry cots, it can do it all. We'd almost call it the workhorse of the brand, but that's by no means a derogatory term. Larger wheels and a good size on everything from the seats to basket all lend themselves to giving you a pushchair that handles day-to-day -day life for so many parents. The chassis of the orange is the popular Phantom, whichever of the five colours you choose from, apart from the black edition which is a jet chassis. The sleek metallic of the Phantom chassis is a great match with the fabrics and lends a real style hit. The plastics are all dark grey which blends well. One of the first things that we want to cover on the chassis of the orange is the rather large shopping basket. Wow! Both wide and deep, it covers the whole underside of the pushchair and there's not many that can beat this size. It can take a total of 64 litres and 10 kilos, so it's strong too and ample for all of those family days out. Don't worry well, you keep the picnic basket, coats or random toys as this will be able to carry it all for you. As a pushchair that can carry multiple children, it's a great basket size to carry double the amount of supplies. It curves up at the front and back to stop things from falling out and has high sides too. It's easily accessible from the front or back to get things in and out. Built into the back of the basket is an integrated ride on board. If you've already got an older child when you purchase this pushchair they'll love being able to hop on the back to travel with their younger sibling. You can use this with the included elevators which moves either the carry cart or seat further forward and gives them plenty of space to hold onto the handlebars. It can be used up to an industry standard of 20 kilos, which we'd love to see increase slightly, just as the seat itself can be used to 25 kilos. The centre of the board has a rougher texture to give them some foot grip on the plastic. It's nice not to have an extra purchase for this or something in your walking space. This is a pushchair which is a good option for taller parents. The handlebar has a range of 98 to 108 centimetres and our 5 foot 6 tester could actually push comfortably in the lowest position. It's covered in a smooth black leatherette which is comfortable to hold but it's quite chunky which smaller hands may not prefer. To protect this covering you have a wide plastic section in the middle of the handlebar which will rest on when folding and self standing. Moving smoothly up and down to one of five positions is done by squeezing the button in the centre. As the wheels of your pushchair are what keep you on the move they're an important thing to look at. If you're a family that doesn't stick to the city and enjoys park walks and adventures in a more rural setting, larger wheels and suspension will make days out much easier. The Orange has increased tread and grip on both the larger rear wheels and smaller front ones. They're large enough to take you over the majority of terrains with no issues and we've used on grass and rough tracks as well as the smoother pavements and shopping centres. The push of the orange is beautifully smooth with a great turning circle of those front wheels. If you do come across a rougher ground, the front wheels can be locked by lifting up the catches at the back. All four wheels have a soft suspension that bounces gently over bumps to give a smoother ride for your little one. The rounded pedal brake of the orange is just on the inside of the right rear wheel and is pressed on and lifted off. Not flip flop friendly, but it's easy to do and there's a reassuring click once engaged. The Eye Candy Orange Carry Cot is covered in a beautiful fabric, which is different to what we've seen on other pushchairs. It's a thick and soft jersey with diamond design stitching on the apron. The six colours are all completely on trend and include light slate marl, dark slate marl, black edition, sandstone marl, mist blue marl and royal blue marl. We love that the Carry Cot has been approved for overnight sleep. This is one less thing for parents to have to worry about when travelling with their baby. Not only is it a comfortable, safe space for them to be, but it's what they are used to from long walks and shopping trips too. So they're more likely to sleep. Whether you need for an overnight stay at the grandparents or a full holiday, you can use it on the floor with the six feet keeping it slightly raised. Sometimes carry cot hoods aren't quite as big as those on your seat, but as the orange uses the same hood on the seat and carry cot, it's a great size. The panel extends out with a zip to give you coverage right up to the bumper bar. The back of the hood is a fabric panel that you can lift to expose a mesh panel. 
This will allow air to circulate around the carry cot as your little one sleeps. While open, the flap sits neatly and doesn't deter from the aesthetics of the carry cot. If you're using it indoors for baby to sleep, you will just need to lower the carry cot hood. Inside, it's lined with soft fleece and has a substantial mattress to keep baby comfortable. The fleece lining can be completely removed should you need to give it a good clean. Keeping the apron in place are two poppers on the side and two connected to the hood. We'd usually prefer a zip to keep it secure, but the apron on the carry cot is well fitted and stays in place snugly. Including the boxer elevators, which increase the height of the carry cot and also brings it closer to you at the back of the pushchair. This is perfect for parents who want to look straight in at their precious newborn and also for mums that may have had a C-section as you don't need to bend as much to reach them. You can also spin the elevators the other way to move the carry cot further away and give you a better space between the handlebars for a child using the ride on board. For shorter parents, the lower position might be preferable, but we really do love the position the elevators achieve. Removing the carry cot completely from the frame is done by pressing the buttons below the bumper bar at the same time. It's relatively easy to do, but we'd love if there were memory buttons so you could do one at a time or with one hand if needed. To transport the carry cot, you can hold the bumper bar with one hand while supporting it with the other underneath. Once baby is six months old, you can move them into the bucket star seat of the Icon Orange. In single mode, you can only receive one frame with a carry cot fabric and a seat fabric, so you need to switch these over when you're ready. If you follow the instructions, it doesn't take too long to do, but you'll only need to do it once anyway. The seat has an amazing weight limit of 25 kilos, which very few children will reach before they're out of their pushchair and walking. If you decide to have it raised up on your elevators, it does reduce the weight limit to 15 kilos, but you're probably not going to use these when they're older anyway. When used facing the back, it's a fab height to chat with your toddler as you stroll. Used facing the front, you've got tons of space for a child on the ride on board, or the perfect height to be pushed up to the table in a cafe or restaurant. The seat itself is a good size. Width, depth and height wise at 47 centimetres tall. To secure your child there's a five point harness with three positions and a large buckle. Some harnesses have pads that slip down but these have stayed nicely in place during our testing period. If you want to split the shoulder straps from the waist straps you can, we find it much easier to clip both sections in together. Press the centre of the buckle to release it again. The leatherette coloured bumper bar spins easily out away from either side using the small button on the outside. You do have to press in the small gap though, so mums with longer nails might struggle. To recline the seat to one of three positions, just push the button at the back of the seat. You've got a nice angle for sleeping, one in between and one that's upright for nosy toddlers. The hood on the orange seat is the same as the one in your carry cot. Made from a soft jersey material, it extends with a zip and comes right down to the bumper bar. The little one will be protected from all of the elements under there. When forward facing, you can use the peekaboo window to keep an eye on them or just add a bit of airflow through. The back of the seat has a large zipped pocket on it, which is plenty big enough to fit your purse, phone and keys to hand. It also hides another zip inside so that you can access the holes to re-thread your harness when moving up as your child grows. The one thing that's missing on this seat is an adjustable footrest. Though it's a small feature, it can really help to make your younger babies more comfortable and give a bit more support for shorter legs. You can pop it out to make a flatter space though. Car seat adapters are included with the push chair to create a travel system with an infant carrier of your choice. We love a simple fold here at PX and the orange ticks that box. You can do it with or without the seat unit in place but it has to be in the world facing position. All you do is put the handle to the lowest position and then press the buttons and pull on the triggers at each side. This will drop the handle down and the front of the frame in. The frame will freestand even when you see it on, and an automatic lock keeps it together. It's certainly not the smallest fold at 84 by 62 by 29 centimetres, but this is a pushchair capable of carrying two toddlers. If you do need to make it smaller, you can split it down to a two-piece fold and remove the rear wheels. To get it back up on the go, you need to release the lock on the side, which is harder to reach with the seat unit in place, and then lift the handlebar up. The lock is made from a light grey to make it easier to identify. As well as your car seat adapters and elevators, the orange pushchair bundle comes with a coordinating backpack changing bag and foot muff. Most parents these days seem to want a backpack style changing bag, and we love the one included with this bundle. Looks can be deceiving and at first glance it can look quite a small bag. This is when you have the top tied tight, but loosen these ties and you've actually got a great size bag. Big enough for all your changing essentials plus your food bits for mum and dad. 
Inside there are pockets to keep things organised and a changing mat. You also got a large front pocket if you want to separate things. It's made from the same material as a pushchair and is comfortable to carry on your bag. Unfortunately there aren't any hooks for the bag to hang from the pushchair handle so you will need to carry it or use up some space in the basket. The matching Duropod is a combined seat liner and foot muffin one. Have the top on during colder months and zip it off just to add a bit of comfort and protection to the seat. It's fully reversible too for two different styles and to cope with the weather. Super soft fleece on one side for the cold and breathable cotton on the other for when it's warm. As this makes such a brilliant double push chair as well as single, we thought we'd dedicate a whole section of how it works for those of you expecting a second child. You can purchase this as a double or just add the converter base, adapters and additional seat fabric when you're expecting another child. The converter adapters are what gives you two extra points at the front and rear of the chassis to increase your potential configurations with a combination of seats, car seats or carry cots. There's always some compromise with tandem push chairs, but there's less of that with the iCandy Orange because of the chassis size, the placement of the adapters and the full size for both seats and carry cots. With 30 overall configurations, you'll find 13 that can take either a newborn and a toddler or two seats once the baby gets bigger. We doubt anyone will use all of those, but you'll certainly be able to find the few that best suit your family needs. Our favourite for a newborn and a toddler are a carry cot at the back and your seat up on the elevators facing forward. This gives you the perfect view down at your newborn baby and an outward facing position for your toddler. If you'd prefer to have your toddler facing you for a chat, you could have the carry cot in the front lower position and your toddler facing you on the elevators. All of the others give plenty of room and a view to see out, which is what the larger chassis of the Orange is great at offering. Our fave for two toddlers has to be the cinema seating. One seat is at the front of the chassis and the other is just behind, slightly raised at the back of the chassis. Though they're both a bit lower to the ground, it gives them both a great point of view and you can see them both well too. It can also be used this way facing you. Using anything in the lower back position does hang over the brake area, so we did find ourselves reaching under with our foot to find the brake each time. The Eye Candy Orange is also a brilliant twin push chair, capable of taking two full-size carry cots and two full-size seat units. They're ready to go from day one. There are 12 twin configurations. You can use two carry cots together on the chassis using the converter adapters and elevators. Choose from both facing you or one facing forwards and the other facing you. For your newborns, you can also add two infant carriers with two sets of car seat adapters. Or you can completely mix it up and use one carry cot and one infant carrier. Bear in mind that you obviously need two of everything with twins, so it will take up more space in your car boot. Once your babies have outgrown their carry cots, you can switch them over to your seat units. Whether you'd prefer them to be both facing you, both facing out, one either way, on the front and higher position, back and higher position, or of course the amazing cinema seating. This one is particularly good with children the same age that might be at a similar stage in what they like. As the chassis is designed so well to take two, there's hardly any compromise with the seating options and all offer great space for both children travelling. iCandy does have other push chairs that convert to a tandem, but the orange is really made to excel at it. On this third generation of the iCandy Orange, you've got a pushchair that is suitable for so many families. It works well as a single pushchair and gives you lots of space to carry the essentials, as well as being functional and carrying a little one in comfort. If you do decide to expand your family, it's more than capable of growing with you and offers more positions that you're ever going to need. The versatility sets it apart from the competition. We've really enjoyed testing out the Orange and love the fabrics, 30 configurations, huge basket and built-in right on board. If it comes to a fourth generation, we're not sure what else eye candy could add. Maybe just an adjustable footrest. We give the eye candy orange 4.8 out of 5 stars. Head over to pushtoexpert.com to read our full review.